And now, as a change of scenery, here's a real live western. And we didn't have to go to the States to shoot it. In fact, we went no farther west than Dartmoor in the west of England. So that's where ex-South American rancher Ross Salmon has started Britain's first cowboy ranch. And to get the young cowhands needed to go with it, he's training boys in riding, lassoing and breaking in broncos. Boys too have to be broken in by easy stages like this. Their training, similar to that given to American cowboys, includes a few stock tricks with a stock whip. When the boys are heading for that first roundup, or even their last roundup, they'll find a lasso useful. Among other things, it'll help them to pull cattle out of bogs. He's explaining that the cattle have to be rounded up daily and brought back to a central point. Otherwise, they'll wander away at the rate of four to five miles a day. For nine months of the year, they can be grazed on the open moors. For the three rigorous months, they're sheltered. And now, different ways of mounting a horse. Although the boys can ride well already, they now have to learn all over again. For if they're going to be cowboys, they'll have to get used to the long stirrup. It's because of the long stirrup, less tiring than the ordinary kind, that a cowboy can stay in the saddle all day. Rancher Ross Salmon hopes to raise 1,000 head of cattle. So this American idea should mean more of the good old roast beef of England. Maybe an even better quality for his crossing stocks to breed a new strain of beef cattle. to mutton. The boys help Farmer Ball to round up his sheep. All livestock must now be removed to a safe area. Soon there'll be more shooting on this Devon range than on any range in the wild and woolly west. For with the army taking over for temporary manoeuvres, it now becomes the Oakhampton firing range. fire and it's the all clear for the cowboys return. These new cowpunchers haven't so much as a six shooter between them, but ex-naval commander Ross Salmon did his fair share of shooting years ago. The boys are also taught how to handle an animal that gets vicious, how to put up fences, and how to help the cows at calving time. Setup's complete down to a campfire. Of the ten boys, only the best four will qualify for life on the Dartmoor Prairie, but right now, all of them seem pretty much at home on the range. 